Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy on Technologies. Welcome to my project work series based on Spring Framework. In my previous video, I discussed about the layout and uh, in my today's discussion, I am going to talk about how to use static resources or how to access static resources from the web page. So it is little tricky because Spring will not allow any of the static pages uh, to be accessed from the web page directly so there is a, a, a setting required for that so let's begin so I'm going to create here one folder where I will keep my static resources so this is my web pages and uh, add one folder here and this is my static folder or you can name it anything resources static whatever you like so inside this static folder I will keep my static resources and I will let me categorize my static resources I will have CSS files inside this folder and I will keep my JS, JS files JavaScript files here and uh, one more location one more folder I required I, I'm going to keep my images here inside this folder so these are three uh, major categories of the static resources I'm going to use here and now let me create one CSS file and you can get here this cascading style sheet and uh, I'm going to create this file style.css so this is the file and I'm going to copy some uh, phone family here and size of the phone look at this I have copied here so this is the uh, font I'm going to use for the complete website so I apply to the body directly so this is phone family Arial Helvetica Genova and snap series sans reef and the size will be this one right and two more classes I'm going to declare here one for error message so the error message will be displayed in color this color will be I'm going to use here this red color will be mm, okay this is the red color and one more class I'm going to use here this is for the success message and this will be your blue color I'm going to use okay so blue color fine so these two classes I'm going to use here and this is the class for the complete page body right now this page is not accessible directly on the JSP page so let me show you how to access this how to apply this on your JSP we have to use here link and uh, here I, am, I have to use this href and uh, here static is a folder static slash css slash style dot css and now this is style sheet and you can tell here type text CSS okay this is fine this is added here now let me show you does it apply properly on the page so I cannot just directly so I have to do a small thing here let me write here one message on the page so this is the page and I'm going to write here a small header so this is my header and uh, write a message here heading this is contact application and this is your project work series this is project work by easy on this is what the message I'm going to use now look at this okay so how we can ensure that the class is applied here do one thing 
can we see something here in inspect element look at this look at the error here this file is not available fail to load resource the server respond with status 404 not found for this file means this particular resource is not accessible right so just a moment open this open this URL here look at this status this page is not accessible in fact you can call from here so this is your static this is the path of that file CSS then style dot CSS can you see that page here no this page is not accessible so link is correct because we have one static folder CSS folder and inside that you will see style.css the file is located at the right place but it is not accessible directly because spring will not allow any of the resources to be accessed directly on the web page so you have to write a small setting for that so do one thing uh, where is your configuration go to this configuration and here you have web configuration and in slicer look at the in slicer okay there is nothing to do in in slicer and this is web configuration we have to use right this is important here we have done to do because I skipped that part in in initial configuration but now I'm going to add here so this is add resource handler look at the name add resource handler and what do you mean by resource resource means your static contents like your CSS images JavaScript and all right now let me add here registry this is the argument we have to use so registry dot add resource handler and uh, you can tell the pattern so resource handler will be slash static slash star star right dot add here resource location will be slash static slash so the contents present in location static will be accessible on the web page from the static right so this is important wait for the deployment look at this now it is done and can you check the check the resource here can you check this file here yes this file is now accessible it means now it will be applied on your web page so look at this right so here you can see the class is applied properly in fact if you do any change on your CSS will be applied here for testing I'm going to write here small change do one thing let me test here this color and make the color red so this red color is ff00 fine try this can you see the change here yes the color is updated here means my CSS file is working and it is now accessible so I don't want this just comment it okay remove that so it is accessible here and one more thing I'm going to show you so static resources are accessible and uh, one more thing I can do here I'm going to show you one image which will be added in your web page background so I have downloaded one image from the internet and this is the background I'm going to copy here in my static location and this is this is the place where I have to copy that just copy paste and this is the background this is the background I'm going to apply on my web page and this is index page and look at the important thing you have to add in your web body so this is your there is one background say background so background will be just a moment I have to create one URL tag here I have to create a URL so to add any URL you have to you should use actually tag library so this is URI I'm going to use spring tags to prepare the URL and this will be s s for a spring and let me create here s colon URL 
and uh, not required okay and create here one variable I will call this URL this is background image and tell the value here and slash static slash images slash background dot this background is jpg okay this is your file you can check this the location is static images bg dot png so that's what i'm using here this is ready this is what we have added one more tag i think i should declare here and uh, just one more just a minute here i have directly wrote this style so let me correct that i should not use directly like this this is not a good idea so do one thing just cut this and paste here okay so this is correct and now you this is your css and i'm going to add that css here like this using the el expression you can call this so this is the correct way to prepare url so this is the url i have applied here now similarly i created one url for the background image and let me apply this to the page this is how you can apply to the url bg so now the image will be accessible here look at this yes look at the background here so this blue background is applied here properly it's an image and it is visible on your page background and even the css is applied and this is how we can add the static resource on the page so this is enough for this discussion if you have any doubt regarding this video you can ask in comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates thank you very much for now and see you in next video